Now, this is a very instructional episode where I learn what you can do with a fish slice. Please. me the odd one out. Now, one day at Pipkins... Hartley was the odd one out. It all started in my cellar. Pig had made a tank for testing how well things could float. As you see, this fishing boat can float. But what will happen in a massive wave? Will this boat go down and sink? Testing, testing, testing. I'm ready now to help. Well, uh, Hartley, if I'm going to make the sound of the wind and uh, Pig's going to make the waves... Hartley can be the person who imagines. Yes, I can be the person who imagines. Imagine that there are fishermen at sea out in this tiny boat. Imagine, Hartley, that a storm blows up. Hartley tried to imagine. Oh, yes, I see it, Pig. The boat is rocking on the waves. And turnips, the poor fishermen, they're rocking up and down as well. They've got their rain hats on and capes. They're special max to keep them dry. I can't see the life belts. I can't see any rubber rings. The ones you help to keep you afloat. <gasps> what happens to them if their boat goes down? Oh, I can see them sinking, Pig. And not a life belt anywhere. No, no, stop the test. I can't go on. I can't imagine anymore. It's far too terrible. <laughs> Hartley, Hartley, look, will you? Oh. We've done the test, and the boat's still there. Look, it certainly hasn't sunk, has it? Mm, not this time, anyway. As for the next time, I'm not sure. I might make even bigger waves. But, Thomas, Pig, this is marvellous. Imagine how the fishermen must feel. They know they have come through the storm. They know they are safe, they are dry, and they can catch a million fish. Oh, marvellous, brave men. Mm, what's <laughs> upset you now? Well, just thinking of those fishermen, how clever and how brave they are. I'm I'm so glad they're safe. Oh, Hartley, just, just go, will you? And leave me to get on with my tests. Oh, no, Pig, uh, that's enough for today. It's fresh air time. <sighs> Come on, upstairs. I think poor Topbob's waiting to go out. Mm. Oh. Topbob was waiting to go out. Oh, come on, everybody! Decided where you want to go, Topov? I haven't, because I can't decide what I want to do. Well, you can always go to the park. There are lots of different things to do in the park, and you can choose when you get there. Well, I've got to think about what I'm going to do so that I know what to take with me. Well, I think we should take a ball. Well, I want to take a fishing net because I'm going to be a fisherman, because fishermen are clever and brave. Mm. Well... I don't think there are any fish swimming in the park, Hartley. There isn't any water. Park, Topo? Who said anything about going to a park? Well, I don't care where we go as long as we take a picnic. No, I'm not sure about the park either. Because wouldn't it be nice to find a fair? Then we could go on roundabouts. No, no, I might get dizzy. Oh, I can't decide. All right, Topo, I'll help you. Hands up. Who wants to go to the park? Everyone had their hand up, except Hartley. 
I'm afraid you're the odd one out, Harley. The only one who says no to the park. Quite right. Cause I want a river. Cause I want a fish. But most of us want to go to the park. So that is where we're going. Oh. This is the park. No wonder you're getting left behind. No, 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 please don't touch my life belt. But Hartley. It's too hot for all this stuff. But fishermen wear rain hats. Sou'westers. Oh, sou'westers. And they wear capes. And if they had any sense, they'd wear life belts too. Not all the time. Only when they're in danger. When their boat's in danger, Harley. So they can float all right, even if their boat goes down. Where's your boat then, Hartley? You haven't brought your boat. And where's the sea, Hartley? You look like a deep sea fisherman. You should have brought the sea with you. I don't care. I'll find somewhere to go fishing, just you see. And I want to look like a deep sea fisherman, so I'm not taking this off. In the park, there were places to play. Come on, Coming, coming. Come on, Hartley. Come on, Hartley. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh. Hartley, you all right? This isn't fair. They're choosing stupid places to play. They're very good places, Hartley. Just because you can climb in your life belt. And it makes you too white to go in through a door. They're right, you know, Hartley. They're right. It's time you stop this nonsense. Nonsense? You may call it nonsense. It is nonsense, Harley. It is. Because you should always remember that. You don't go fishing in a flower bed. You don't eat soup with just a fork. You don't put ice cream in the oven. You don't take a sausage for a walk. Because if the world is upside down and, and the grass is pink and the sky is brown and if wheels are square and doors are round it's a topsy-turvy world it's a topsy-turvy world but none of you understand none of you understand me Hartley was hot and tired and upset. He felt very much the odd one out. Topov felt sorry for him. Well, most of us wanted to come to the park. And there isn't a river here, is there? And where else do fish swim? Oh, in ponds and lakes. Well, actually, there is a lake. Well, a bus ride away. But it's not all that far. Is the lake a pond? Well, it, it's like a pond, only it's bigger. If you want to go... Mm. Go and tell Hartley. Then. Hartley! You can fish! We're going on a bus and you can fish! You expect me to fish on a bus, do you? So you can sing the nonsense song, I suppose. We're going where fish swim. We're going where there's water. Lots and lots. This is the water of the lake. A post stood by the water. With a life belt top of. See? And if someone's in trouble in the water, if they're afraid they'll sink, you can throw them the life belt and they'll float. But you don't wear it all the time, do you? Not unless you're Hartley, no. 
Hartley was a fisherman at last. We fishermen of England, how very brave we are. If I catch a tiddler, I'll pop him in a jar. And if I catch a kipper too, I'll cook him for my tea. But if I catch a whopping whale, you'll see how brave I'll be. Everybody's happy here. Nobody's the odd one out. Tom, I like that. So do I. It's... Time... ...to come back home and play a game. Now, Tortoise will be our referee. That is, if we get into any kind of trouble, it will be he who will sort it all out for us. Tortoise? Uh, thank you, Tom. Uh, we'd like you to play this game, too. Tom will tell you how. Over to you, Tom. Thank you, Tortoise. Now, you'll see a row of things. But some things the odd one out. You try and work out which one it is. Odd one out is the fish slice. Me? Oh no, it can't be my fish slice. Fishing pole, fishing net, fish slice. Yes, I know, and a very fine one it is too. Uh, tortoise, can you referee? Hmm. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> you catch a fish with a fishing rod. Hmm. Uh, you catch a fish with a fishing net, mm, but you cook a fish with a fish slice. <laughs> so the fish slice is the odd one out. Thank you, Tortoise. Right, you'll see another row of things this time. Now, you try and decide which is the odd one out. Now, you have to think of what you do with these things. one out is the fish slice oh no not again i will explain you wear a shoe you wear a hat you do not wear a fish slice <laughs> the fish slice is the odd one out because you do not wear it <laughs> You don't like my fish slice, do you? You just don't like it, do you? Oh, <laughs> Hartley, pipe down, will ya? It doesn't matter if you're the odd one out, because that's the point of the game. Yes! There are uh -oh. no winners and no losers. Goodbye. <laughs>